Alright YouTube, so we got something a bit different today, something good for the new Vegas fans, a little bit older Fallout community, you know, before Fallout 4, and it's something called Fallout New California. <laughs> Really quickly, of course, we are on the road to 10K, short-term goal 8,000, so if you guys are new, please subscribe. And a really quick channel update, we actually broke 2 million total views on the channel, I thought that was kind of crazy. So Fallout New California, what the hell is this? Well, obviously it's not an official Bethesda release, if it was, you would have probably heard about it before I ever even could make a video. It is a fan-made mod, it is a prequel to Fallout New Vegas that's been in the works for almost a decade now. So where this mod originates from is the project lead Brendan Lee set out to make a mod for Fallout 3 that was more akin to the older Fallout games, Fallout 1 and 2, or the Black Isle Fallout games. And inevitably, whenever Fallout New Vegas came out, they converted over to the updated engine and eventually started working on the Fallout New California. So they've technically been working on this for about 9 years, so almost a decade, but more so about 8 years because obviously New Vegas didn't come out until 2010 and it's only 2018 right now. Look, most of you guys know I'm not really in the modding community, so I don't know a whole lot about stuff like this, but it looks fucking awesome. It looks ambitious as hell. I don't know if it's one of the biggest mods ever made, uh, how it stacks up to other mods that have been made for like the Fallout games and the Elder Scrolls games, but it looks pretty damn cool, man. And it's one of those things that makes me jealous to a degree that I'm not like like a PC gamer. Like I've been a console gamer all my life, but I see things like this, and as a Fallout fan, I'm like, man, I really wish I had a badass gaming PC, because this looks fucking amazing. And we'll get into some of the details and stuff here pretty quickly when we look over this article, but just think about this effort that this dude and his team have put into this shit, dude. They've been working on this, it just now entered beta. They've been working on this shit for eight plus years now. That is some fucking dedication, man. I think they took like a year off or so at one point, but even then, you're still looking at, like, you know, seven plus years working on a mod for a video game. I don't know if modders make money from this, I don't know if they charge for mods, if mods are free, but I hope it was, with some dedication like this that they make some money from it, even if it's just through donations from fans or something, man. Fallout New California is a prequel mod for Bethesda Softworks Fallout New Vegas that has been in development for almost a decade, and it has finally moved into the beta stage. While Bethesda developed Fallout 3 and Fallout 4, in addition to publishing both titles, it was Obsidian Entertainment that developed Fallout New Vegas. The fourth main, but first non-numbered installment in the franchise, which released in 2010. Obsidian had hoped to return to the ongoing series and develop another Fallout game in the future, possibly even a sequel to New Vegas, but Bethesda had other plans. They went to development on Fallout 4 not too long after New Vegas came out, and eventually released the game in 2015. Since then, there hasn't been much news on the future of the series, aside from routine updates and new content additions to Fallout 4, of course, as well as sporadic rumors about Fallout 5 being in various stages of development, but soon fans may be able to return to the world of New Vegas in an upcoming prequel mod that has been in the works for a long time. Fallout New California project leader Brandon Lee provided an update on the prequel mod on ModDB last week, saying that the Beta 200 is fully playable from start to finish and they are nearing the final stages of completion. Here's the quote from Brandon Lee, So after many years, not only is Beta 200 playable from start to end credits with no major interruptions, but it's stable and finally coming together as a finished thing. We still have bugs and we still have defects, but it's approaching a level of polish you'd expect from a release-ready project most of the time. So what I think he means by it being at a level of polish you'd expect from a release-ready product is like most games these days come out with like a day one patch. Almost every single game, you when you bring it home or if you buy it digitally, as soon as you install it, you have to download some fucking update, which I think is pretty ridiculous because it used to not be like that with games back in the day. Back in PS2, there weren't you, you couldn't update your fucking games. Anyways. It's at a level where it's, you can play it from start to end credits where there's minor, you know, there's only like minor bugs and interruptions, something like that, something they can still flush out before it's released to like everybody, you know, because it's only in the beta stages as of right now, which I don't know how you get like on this, can, is it like an open beta, is it a closed beta, can anybody download it, you know, I don't know how that works exactly. The Fallout New Vegas prequel mod is much more than a simple offshoot. It contains an entirely new story with a new character and a whopping 14,000 lines of new dialogue which is about one-fourth of the amount of dialogue that was included in Fallout 4. That's a significant amount for something that's not exactly profitable. The only problem is, aside from various bugs and glitches of course, is that the game's story is so replete with branching narratives, it gets extremely dense. 
Right now, Fallout New California contains several branching storylines that can lead to 12 different endings. They are looking to streamline everything, but in the end, there's enough content in this mod to roughly equate to one-fourth of a AAA game. Am I missing something here? Because I don't see how a mod or a game, for that matter, having branching narratives, 12 different endings, and being super dense is a bad thing. Like, that's kind of what I want from a game. I would love every game that I play to have as much content as possible. It can be overwhelming at times, I suppose, and maybe that's what they're getting at here. But even then, like, it's a mod, so, like, I want that from a mod or something. Some additional content, some, you know, something that's a prequel to Fall New Vegas. I want that to be as dense as possible. It's fucking awesome. And really, when you think about it, that's not something that we actually get from the Bethesda Fall games. It's like branching narratives and that many different endings. You get like the slideshow at the end of your Fall game. Depending on some choices you made, different things happen to characters. But you don't get actual different endings, really. You do in New Vegas. New Vegas has a couple of actual different endings. Three didn't, four didn't really, unless you chose. Depending on the different faction you chose, of course. But generally speaking, the Fall games don't have different endings like other games do. There's not like a good ending, a bad ending, like an in-between ending, and then like maybe like a crazy or funny ending, something like the Silent Hill games have or something like that. We don't really get that with the Fall games. And, and it sounds like with this mod, we might actually get that. 12 different endings is a hell of a lot. Oh yeah, and can we talk about that 14,000 lines of dialogue recorded for this mod? That is insane, dude. A fourth of what Fallout 4's dialogue is. Like, that's crazy. This is made by, you know, a group of people. I don't know how big their group really is. I know, reading on Wikipedia really quickly, it was, like, pretty small at first. I don't know if they ever like, got a bunch of people to help them out or whatever. There was, like, five or ten people, something like that. Pretty damn small. And they were able to record a bunch of dialogue that's on par with an actual video game. That's crazy, dude. But this is over here with, like, this big company. Probably got, like, hundreds of people working for them. And this group of people were able to record dialogue that's somewhat on par with that. Given how much effort has gone into this passion project, as well as how much new content New Vegas fans will be getting, it seems the nine years it's taken to get to this stage was well worth it. Perhaps Fall New California will reinvigorate interest in Obsidian to pursue a New Vegas 2. If not, at least it will tide fans over until Bethesda eventually decides to return to the Fallout franchise sometime in the future. For starters, really quickly, the interest is already there. Obsidian, people from Obsidian have already talked about how they would love to work on another Fallout. It's there. The bad blood that we t heard about like a while back between Obsidian and Bethesda was never really true. That was some bullshit rumors and stuff spread by YouTubers who don't know what the fuck they're talking about. I'm not sure if Bethesda would let Obsidian make another Fallout game. I, of course, would be down for it. We talk about it so much, dude. I hate repeating it. Like, yeah, like a New Vegas 2 came out. I'd play it. Do I want that? Not necessarily. I'd prefer another, you know, another location. But another Obsidian Fallout, I definitely want that. I'm honestly not sure why Bethesda hasn't let Obsidian or another company, like, take a shot at another Fallout game. The fans are always one when it comes to Bethesda. The fans are always wanting more Elder Scrolls and more Fallout. They like the other games, of course, you know, Doom and other things like that, and Dishonored and Prey or whatever you want to, you know, the, the Bethesda games are popular, but everybody's always wanting more Elder Scrolls and more Fallout, and I think that's part of why they came out with Fallout New Vegas so soon after Fallout 3 came out. It was only two years later. Fallout 3 came out in 2008, New Vegas came out in 2010, like it was only two years later. So, like, why not let another company do that while you guys work on Fallout 5 or Elder Scrolls 6 or whatever else y'all are already working on? It just doesn't make sense to me, dude. Like, it's legit just money in their pocket. All they gotta do is publish the project. Whew, got a bit rambly there for a minute. Anyways, Fallout New California looks badass, dude. It's a prequel to Fallout New Vegas, which obviously there's a massive fan base for New Vegas. It is the most popular Fallout. It's considered one of the best, of course. Your boy is jealous AF of those of you guys out there who can not actually get on this and play with, like, your decent PCs. I'm over here with the Struggle laptop making videos. Can't game it all if I wanted to. I'll have everything linked below, of course, the trailer, the article, whatever you want. I'll try to find some other stuff to link you guys. Maybe try to link you to, like, the beta information, whether or not it is open or closed, whatever the case. Hopefully you guys, girls and transgenders, enjoyed the video. And if you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. Turn on notifications. Follow me on Twitter at the Dashing David. Links to my social networks are in the description and in the outro. Later, guys. Or at least just peace.